you know, and hold on. Can we go? You I said you've been given opportunity. Who gave you the opportunities? But and, and that, who, and that's sir, who gave you who gave you the opportunities? A white man. Right. So why are you comfortable being at the work mercy of a man of no color who has to give you something? Why are you comfortable? You don't want to be among the group of men who are giving people stuff. You're happy that you're a black man and you're a part of the group that needs men of no color to give you a stimulus check. Money bag Joe got to come save you. You're comfortable with that? Oh, no, not, not at all. I'm actually on my journey of entrepreneurship. But, 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 but here's the thing. The but, if, the but, if that, but here's the thing. If that white man didn't give you an opportunity, you wouldn't have one. You can't even go to black men to get an opportunity. You can't even do that. And you're comfortable with the fact that your own male group, your male counterparts can't even give you any opportunities. You're okay with that. And that's what I was telling you earlier about the whole slaughtering ideal. No, you don't have to slaughter anything. Why do you keep mentioning slaughter? Why do you keep doing that? You don't even, you don't have to do that. In your logic, let me explain. In your logic, the only way a man can get a job if I wanted a job... No, that's your logic. No, that's your logic. No, actually, that's your logic. That's not my logic. It's yours. Don't project your logic on me. You keep mentioning slaughtering something. I'm not. You don't have to slaughter anything. Actually, black men could be very effective in shifting their position in society, and they don't have to slaughter one thing at all. And I do agree because I've always said that, you know, I think a lot of black men, especially the men in the NBA and NFL, I think that they should end up pulling their money together and, and going ahead and creating their own NBA and their own NFL. So why aren't they? Like, known as Black Wall Street, it's where one of the nation's worst episodes of racial violence took place. Armed and fought back, but they were outnumbered by the white mob, which shot their way through. The white mob murdered, they looted, and they set fire to Black Wall Street. And, and you know what? And, and that's that's the part that's the struggling is because, you know, as black people, we're, we're very emotional. You know, I, I went through the protest all this so time. Oh, you mean like you who called up to my phone line emotional, mad because I'm talking about the truth? That emotional? And, and you know what? And, and that's that's the part that's the struggling is because, you know, as black people, we're, we're very emotional. You know, I, I went through the protest all this time. So oh, you mean like you who called up to my phone line emotional, mad because I'm talking about the truth? That emotional? No, no, I'm saying the reason why black men are not investing fully in their community is because there is an emotional problem in our community. We seem not to have any logic when it comes to strategically making our move in society better. Right, like T.I., right? Better. Right, like T.I., who, right, like T.I., who didn't make a smart decision and didn't think about everything he had to lose. He simply only thought about what his dick wanted, like that. Exactly. You're, You're right. right. So that, should you so should occurs is where you have those men who have that type of capability to change the world and to change the way that we're that we are living in now. And I think that as a group, as a whole, black men and black women, we're failing as a community. No, 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 no. You don't need to put black women in that. Black women are not failing as a community. Y'all are failing on your own. You would need to catch up to black women, actually. Black women are not. There isn't. The only people who think that black women are failing at anything is black men. Black men are failing because they want to. We're not failing. Well, we're do- we're like actually you know, as a group. Actually, black a, women, a black women are doing what black men should be doing. That's what that's what's happening. Black women are trying to carry the community because black men refuse to. That's what's happening. Like to answer your question of why black men are not doing what they're supposed to do. It's because the, the environment they're in a, around is very toxic. Who's you know, creating? Like, who's creating the toxic politics. environment? Who's creating the toxic environment? <laughs> well, I mean, it's both ends: the black woman and the and the black man. Really? How are black it's women creating a women? toxic environment for black men by doing what? I mean, just for example, your attitudes. I mean, you're you're always bickering and. 
You're always making it hard for. I mean, listen, I dated many. Like I said, I've dated many black. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So our and attitude and our bickering it does what to black man's ability to build for himself? Wait, 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 wait. So our attitude and our bickering it does what to black man's ability to build for himself? I did entertain a white man, he was paying me to do it. I don't walk out the house for a white person unless some money is involved. I did entertain oh, a white man, he was paying me to do it. I don't walk out the house for a white person unless some money is involved. And double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Also a sincere shalom uh, to the elect. Uh, shalom.